there! In this demo, you are going to learn how to cast a mini stone from the Dot Art Depot's mini stone mold number four. You will need a scale and the mini mold itself. And here I'm going to show um, the older and the newer style molds, but they both create the exact same stone. So I will also add a link in this video's description below on where you can find this mold. So you're going to also need a mixing cup and some kind of mixing spoon and then your plaster powder. Now I'm using HydroCal today, but if you don't have HydroCal, just follow the manufacturer's set time and ratio instructions for what you have. Just place your cup on your scale and then tear the scale back to zero. And then you're gonna add 1.1 ounces of plaster powder. And to that, you're gonna add 0.5 ounces of water. So half an ounce of water you're looking for a total weight of 1.6 ounces and mix it really well you want to make sure that you get any of the little pockets of dry powder that may be along the edges of your cup and you're looking for a consistency something like batter and then you're going to fill your mold to right up underneath the uh, inner lip there and this will be just the perfect amount for this mold here Be sure to tap your mold on a hard surface to release any trapped air bubbles that might be in there because if you don't, you will have little holes in your cast stone. And now for the best part, it's time to demold. Now HydroCal sets up pretty quick. This set up in about 20 minutes, at least to demold it, which I love because that's the best part. Um, and I just kind of place my fingers on the bottom rim and then I push that top lip over top of the stone. And once you get that lip up over that stone, it pops right out. No problem at all. And look at this beautiful little stone. Guys, we are making our own stones now, huh? Perfectly smooth, ready to take paint. Well, you have to let it cure. And depending on your climate and where you live, you want it to cure for at least one full day, if not longer. You know, I think really the longer the better. And for cleanup, if you are comfortable using a chisel, it does make for quick work. Um, but if not, you know, you can always just use a plastic scraper or just sandpaper. Um, and a lot of people just leave the edge. It's really just a personal preference. It's however you like it. I just like to take it down and usually get it pretty smooth. And here I am popping out the next one. Comes out just as easily. And there's not much to take off anyway, but I do sometimes find if there is a little bit that I would like to take off, I find doing that while it's still in the curing stage makes it a whole lot easier because once it's cured, this stuff is really, really hard. And there they are. Now, um, if you do encounter some air bubbles, I wanted to show you a quick fix, and this is how I fix or repair um, any little divots or bubbles that I have. I just take a little bit of the plaster powder, and you probably want to use gloves, so, you know, I'm just using my finger, but, um, but I just dip my finger in water, and then I just kind of make a paste little tiny small spot it's all you need and then I rub the paste over top of any little holes or divots and it smooths it right out just try not to use too much it really only takes a little tiny bit um, and just smooth it on real quick and then let that dry and then once that's dry you can go back in and use your sandpaper and smooth it right back out and you're good to go so it takes stones that you sometimes will think are ruined or no good and it turns them into, you know, totally workable stones again. So I think it's a great little tip, and I just wanted to share that with you. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. If you're wanting to learn how to paint dot mandalas, be sure to check out my free lessons right here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. See you real soon. Bye now.